YouTube! Kick. Man, I got super glue all over my freaking hands because I'm trying to fix something. Nonetheless, we here. You're right. Uh, faith is the key. Let's talk about it. Number one, I'll say this for anybody. This is just for the people who are in the live stream. Um, it's only been a week. Because I haven't uploaded because I've been working on um, final exams. But now we're back. So that's all. Okay. So let's talk about it. Um, when it comes to faith, and this is what I've been dealing with this week. Uh, just not being on camera this week and all that kind of stuff, man. I just realized that there's a lot of times, and I talked about this the other day when I was talking about, you know, not to give in to despair. It's the same kind of concept I'm feeling now. Um, there's a lot of times where I, lately that I've been kind of losing, I'm not gonna lie, not losing faith, but not losing faith in um, life itself or God, but I've been losing faith in myself. And people don't know how dangerous that is. People think that it's okay to lose faith in yourself. It's not. It's just as bad to lose faith in yourself because when you lose faith in yourself, then you are you are losing your faith in God. I mean, it's just how it goes. When you start to call yourself a loser or you start to say, I can't make it or I can't change uh, and you give in to that hopelessness, that's the plan. That's when you stop believing that there's any grace or any hope for yourself. And once you get to that place, you're in a real dangerous place. We have now gotten into, and society has probably kind of always been like this, but we see it. We see stuff more publicly now with TikTok and YouTube and all the other stuff. Um, more people come out and say stuff like, I'm a loser. I'm hopeless. Uh, my life sucks. Uh, life is no fun. But it's not even like talked about like in a good way. Some people are just uh, attention us. Uh, uh, seeking attention but other people they just want to they think it's right to do that way because music today you got emo rappers and stuff like that or sad rappers whatever they call themselves you got sad music you got sad country music you got sad um, pop music um always breaking up always being single always losing somebody somebody's always leaving you uh, nobody ever believed in you all this kind of stuff and i think people just get caught up in that i just can't do anything and they think it's where you should be like people don't understand false humility is a terrible thing like somebody who's who is extremely gifted let's say somebody who's an extremely gifted singer if they were to tell you that they can't sing that is false humility or they're telling you oh i'm no good of a singer i'm an awful singer people hate me when i sing when that's absolutely not true when a per that person sings and they do have that gift and that ability but they want to have this false humility this uh, being humble for no reason um, just to kind of to also give them points. Does that make sense? Like there is, I understand there are people who do get really sad and they get really down and they lose faith and they really are down and losing faith. But I think it's also a bad thing when you kind of want to live in that. When some people just want to live in the mud, they just want to live in the dirt. I think that's a huge problem. You know, let me switch up this music real quick. People want to live in that whole I'm just um, never going to make it. And that's kind of what I was feeling here not too long ago. Probably the last few days, I was kind of getting into that head. And every time I make a mistake, because I make mistakes, guys. And every time I make a mistake, I have to, I'll have to literally tell myself to move on. Not, not that I shouldn't feel bad or I shouldn't feel some kind of guilt, because I should. But at the same time, if I allow myself to live in that guilt and never move forward, that's a bad thing. You know, I go to confessions and stuff like that, but it shouldn't get to that point where you continually stomp on yourself because that doesn't help anybody. When you start to get into that state of mind and people also, and it's, it's easy. Once that, that those kind of intrusive thoughts get in your head and make you want to stay down, you don't understand how much you're hurting other people. I'm not saying we all have the gift to speak and we all have the gift to help people. Um, with our words, but just breathing sometimes, just being that smile or just saying, hey, how are you doing today? People don't understand. Like people think that because they're not a celebrity or they're not a superstar, or they're not a huge streamer, or they're not a huge anything. I'm not a huge person. I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old average guy like you are. And I know I can still make a difference by saying, hey, how's your day going? How are you doing? You can do the same because you are a human being think about it if somebody randomly walked up to you and said man you're effing ugly 
maybe it may bother you maybe it might not but if it does bother you that means that that person can still have an impact even though you don't know who they are it's the same thing with somebody just walking up and say hey i hope your day's going okay or your day is going great you know i bursted into tears with strangers before because people really matter relationships really matter and that's what the that's what people people oh man, people really want to get you down they really want to get you down because people don't realize people don't realize how much of an impact they have on you or they do and they really just want to ruin your life for a day and once they've got you to a place where you feel down on yourself they've won I'm not talking about people like haters. I'm just talking about people who don't, who just don't understand that life really matters. There are just some people who are naive. There are some people who really think they're the main character of their own story. And so anything they say or do doesn't matter. It's, and it takes a lot to get out of that mindset to actually care about people outside of yourself. So I don't get mad at everybody who says stuff to me or trolls me. Um, but it does, it does hurt sometimes um, to hear stuff from certain people because it's not that is what they're saying is true. It's that sometimes you have your own thoughts. Well, like when I'm starting to lose my own faith in myself, like I can't get this together. I can't lose the weight. I can't serve God like I want to. I can't this. And then somebody comes along and says, do you even love God? There, Then it messes me up because it's something I've already been thinking. You know what I mean? And so that's what ends up happening when somebody says something to you or a random stranger, when you are at your uh, lowest point or getting close to that point and somebody points out something that you've already been thinking, it hurts because you're like, maybe so. And, and that person doesn't even know what they said. They don't care about you. A lot of people don't care about you. It just is what it is. There's a lot of us in this world. Um, so most people don't care about most people. I don't care about most people. It just is what it is. We can care, We can only care about the people who are really in our circles. Um, but they're going to say something to you and not even realize it was that mean. It could be your lowest point. And I know you get people who get on YouTube and say, well, you got to just say no to that mother effort. You just got to, you know, and you do. You do need to fight through that. You absolutely need to say, screw that person. But however, understand you calling that person a hater is not always true. They're only a hater because they said something that was already bothering you. They may have just said it in jest, or they may just say it messing with you or trolling. But because of what they said specifically, and you already think that, it's already got your faith dwindling, you know? And that's why I say it's just so important not to lose faith when you're in these moments. You just have to keep it. And here's the thing, too. I'm not saying get up like you knock yourself down and you screw up, you fail, you, you, you fall back into your addiction, you look at porn again, you, you get drunk, you get high, uh, you say something to the wrong person, you eat that meal that you weren't supposed to. Eat. And I'm talking about this is all stuff that I go through, guys. But, you know, you just go through something that you, you screw up on. You don't tell yourself, well, I guess I just, just give up. Or you should just stay on the ground and then just let yourself get beat to the floor. You have to get up, even when you're crying, you have to get up with all the bloody bruises, all the, everything that hurts with inside you. It all hurts and you still get up and you limp. And you limp anyway, even though you're beat up and you're battered. It's not about getting beat up and battered. It's about getting up again and saying, I'm gonna try again one more time. And, and then if you screw up again the next day, I'm gonna try again. There needs to be some improvement, don't get me wrong. You need to start improvement, but I promise you, that's how improvement happens for people. It's not always about feeling as guilty as possible. It's it's the people who improve or the people who get up again and just say, uh, I'll try again. Because what people don't really see is they see the successful stories. They see the Olympic champion. They see the rich guy. They see the guys who make it, but there's other people who are on their journey that you have no idea who they are, right? You have no idea. So you think that you get up one more time and that's going to be the time. But it could be when you're in your 40s, you finally get up that last time when you're 41 years old and you're like, okay, this is it. Steve Harvey didn't succeed until he was, and when I say succeed, guys, I don't mean be rich. I don't mean be wealthy. That's not for all of us. Some of us are always going to make average money and we're going to have an average life until we averagely die. You know, but, that, but what I'm saying is success and finding your meaning and purpose in life, whatever that may be. Some people... Like I said, Steve Harvey didn't find it or didn't make it big or found it his 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 avenue till he was 38. 
Morgan Freeman, 57. Some people find it in their 40s. And like I said, Morgan Freeman, 50s. And well, I forgot the name of that famous painter who didn't start painting until she was 60 or 70. That's, uh, and found hers avenue. People don't understand that the, the things that people have to go through to get there. People just see Steve Harvey and they think, oh wow, that could be me. Or not, okay, if you wanna be Steve Harvey, then you gotta wait. If you're starting today, remember he started back when he was younger in his early 20s, his, his later 20s. So you're talking about 10 years until he really made it. So if you're starting today, you're talking about, oh, I wanna make it like Steve Harvey. Okay, you're about to go through 10, yard, 10 years of garbage, 10 years of hard work, 10 years of, oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat tomorrow. Or 10 years of, dang, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pay my bills because I, I pursued this. That's life. That's really life. And that's what I'm talking about. Don't lose faith because it's gonna happen. You're gonna be five years down the road and be like, dang, I've been doing this for five years. I ain't seen nothing, no success. And once again, success is not being wealthy. Success is finding your avenue, whatever that may be. But nonetheless, you can't lose faith because you're struggling with your addiction. You cannot lose faith because you're struggling with your finances right now. You can't do it because you don't have a car. You got to walk to work. You can't lose it because you're struggling right now. And this is a hard one, but you're even struggling to feed your kids. You got to go ask for money. You can't give up then. You got to get up. And here's one last thing I want to say. You're going to be embarrassed. You're going to have to be okay with getting embarrassed and humiliated sometimes. Don't let that kill you there. Because there's going to be times, and it happens in all of our lives. But like, we, we, we're we lucky because we're not celebrities. If I screw up and get humiliated, most of the time, you guys will never see that. But people who live around me will. And there could be times where you get completely humiliated. Last year, I'll tell my story. Last year. So it's almost been a year now. So let's say about 15 months ago, I was so broke. I had to, and I was so high all the time. I was smoking so much. I was using um, LSDs and I was using mushrooms and I was using all this stuff, speed and all that kind of stuff. And I was so caught up in my addiction. I had to ask for money to go get more drugs. I was begging for money to get more drugs. Every paycheck, I, I never made a full paycheck because I always had to get an advance for my job. Every other month, I had to go to my boss and tell him, hey, I need an advance because I was so into my drugs. And that financial mistake that I've made back then, I, I still can make financial mistakes today. I do. I still make financial mistakes today. But last year was so much worse and I've made improvements. I'm not begging for money. I'm not asking for money to go get drugs. It was humiliating having to go to my boss and be like, I need an advance because I can't pay my rent because I need to go get high. That's humiliating. And it was on full display for everybody to see because this is a small town. So people knew I was broke and I was asking for money every other month. I was asking for $20, $50, $10, $5 for gas, this, that, because I couldn't live without it. I didn't lose faith. I still go today. I made it out so far. I still got a lot of things. I, got. I, I, I screwed up a lot of stuff back then. And I built up a lot of bad habits that I'm breaking now. But I haven't lost faith. Even though these last few days have made me want to. They have. And every now and then it's going to come. There's going to come times where you want to lose everything. You just want to give up. And all I'm saying is just don't. I don't care if you get up. You don't have to get up and run. You don't have to get up and walk. Just get up and limp if you got to. One step at a time. All you, The only time life is over and you've completely failed is when you've given up. Peace.